Hi friends. Welcome to Sandbox TV. In this video I will show you. How to do a character disintegration effect in DaVinci Resolve. Level of this effect is. Advanced level. To do this effect. First you need to take the video shoot on a person in front of camera. Then take the video shoot on the same background without any person. Add a footage, remove audio. If you want. To remove audio. Select the video. And hold control. Then click audio. Right click the audio and select, delete selected. Cut the footage where the character want to disintegrate. Then cut the background part from the footage. Freeze frame the background footage. Place the character footage on top. Place the background footage on bottom. Select that two footage and right click. Then select new fusion clip. Click Fusion. Take Medium 2 node. Separately. Click right side dot. On the node. To view that footage. Select the first frame. Then select polygon. Create the mask. As close as possible. Run the footage and adjust the mask. It will create a keyframe in specific frame. Example for adjusting mask. Connect the Polygon 1 to Medium 2. You will see the result. Click the empty space. Then click P emitter. 
and peer render. In PEMitter 1 select region and change sphere to bitmap. It will enable the connector to connect the medial 2 to PEMitter 1. Connect the medial 2 and PEMitter 1. Click peer render 1. Change the output mode to 2D. Then tick. Kill particles that leave the view. Select P emitter 1. Select style. And change to blob. Adjust the size whatever you want. Or copy mine. In controls. Set the number to 500. Higher the value means more particles. Click velocity. Set the number to 0.01. Velocity variance 0.007. Angle 30. Angle variance 15. Select the peer render one click right side dot. You will see the result. Select P emitter one. In controls. Change the color to. Use color from region. Select P emitter one. Then press Shift Control Space at same time Now type PD And click P Direction Alphorse PDF Click Add Adjust the strength Or type 0.0145 Direction 10. You cannot tell me what I cannot say. I'm here to last, so oh yeah, I'm here to stay. I'll live each second like my final day. You can't take that away. Yeah. Select P directional force one. Then press shift. Control. Space. At same time. And type PT. Select. P turbulence, PTR, and click add. Now change X strength to 0.2 Y strength to 0.2 Z strength to 0.2 density to 35. Connect the peer render one to media out. Select first frame and add a new polygon. Click medial two preview, right side dot. Create a mask on top of the character.
move to last frame. Now drag the mask from top to bottom of character. It will create a keyframe in last frame. Click Polygon 2 and press Ctrl C Then press Ctrl Shift V To create an instance Polygon 2 Right click the border width And select the instance Now click the empty space then click merge Connect the polygon to To merge to, yellow color arrow Instance poly to merge to, green color arrow Click merge Change the over to X or Select Instance Poly Preview Untick Solid Adjust the Border Width and Soft Edge Click the empty space. Then press Shift. Control. Space. At same time. And type bit. Then select bitmap, BMP, and add. Connect the merge 2 to bitmap 1, yellow color arrow. Click the empty space. Then press. Shift Control Space At same time and type mat Then select mat control Mat And add Press and hold shift And drag mat control 1 Place it in between medial 2 and p emitter 1 Connect the bitmap 1 to mat control 1, gray color arrow. Click mat control 1 then select garbage mat invert. Preview the peer render 1 to see the result. Connect the medial 1 to peer render 1. P 
you render 1 to merge 3. Green color arrow. Medial 1 to merge 3. Yellow color arrow. Select the media out and preview the result. Select the Polygon 1 and Medion 2 press. Control. C. To copy. Control. V. For paste. Connect the copied Medion 2 to Peer Render 1. Copy the polygon to paste it and connect to merge 4. Click the copied polygon to then tick solid and invert. Now you will see the full result. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.